I'm going to show you how to execute a command depending on the outcome of a test. I can do this using the if statement. In this program I've declared a string variable and I'm asking the user to enter their job. Let's use the if statement to test what the user has entered. If stjob equals teacher then message box hello teacher. I'm going to add a final command here just so I know my programs arrived at the end. So watch what happens when I run it. If I type teacher hello teacher and then it moves on to the last line of code. If I run the program again and I type something other than teacher the message box statement here is not executed. It simply bypasses this and moves on to the rest of the program. Here's another example of an if statement. This time I'm prompting the user to enter their shoe size. And I'm asking the question, if shoe size equals 7, then I will execute this command, you have small feet. If shoe size isn't 7, then this command will not execute. So let's give this a try. I type in a shoe size of 7, it tells me I've got small feet. And then it moves on to the rest of the program. If I run it again, and I type in something other than 7, it bypasses this message box statement here and simply moves on to the rest of the program. Here's another example where I'm performing a slightly different test. I'm asking the question if the shoe size is bigger than 7, I'm using the greater than symbol this time, then I'm told I have big feet. Otherwise it will simply move on to the rest of the program. So I run this, type in a big shoe size, I've got big feet. If I type in something less than 7 or even equal to 7, this message box statement isn't executed. One more example, if shoe size is not equal to 10, then we will execute this command. If the shoe size is equal to 10, this command will not be executed. We've seen a few relational operators in action here. There are actually a number of different relational operators that you can use in an if statement. Here they are. This is what we call the one line if statement. We have the if command, a condition, and a then clause, what we will do if the outcome of that condition is true. It's very important that the word then is followed immediately by a command. So if I give this a go, block if without end if. VBA is expecting to see a command after the word then. My program has now gone into break mode. I can fix it by pulling this command back up onto the line where it belongs.